Grab your glasses. It's about to go down. Grab the glasses. It's a time for us to do our daily toast. We are in Kwanzaa season, y'all. And we are building. We are building one ancestor at a time. So, grab your glasses. I'm about to prep up the music. Here we go. That's right, that's right. That's right. Doing it how we do it, Giami. Giami, Giami Journey family coming to you live. Mm, Mr. Diddy. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Lift your glass and 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 drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on. Drink, 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 drink. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Lift your glass and drink your water. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Ah, now let's get it. Drink, 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 drink. Lift your glass and drink your water. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Shout out to Joe Berry. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. 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 Dream. It's going down, family. It's going down. I'm a little bit behind, but it is. Drink. Drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. drink. Happy birthday to my sister Debbie Harrison. Happy birthday. But hey, it's on and popping family. Y'all know it is Kaumba today, but for Kwanzaa is near. So 
We're going to talk a little bit about Nia. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's going on. Lines are open at 614-556-4535. Lines are open so we can have an open discussion, family. So I'm going to stay up here for a little while. Uh Uh-oh, they got questions and answers up here. Hold on. See what's going on with that. I'm trying to, my computer's moving slow, so I'm trying to post up the the number where you can call in or you could um you can stream in over your computer. That's your choice. We are also live on YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? So um you go to my YouTube page and you can see what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. We're not playing here at Giami Journey. I'm trying to get the word out. I'm trying to get the message out. This is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Since they done they're taking all the black news off. You know what I'm saying? I got to at least edify you with some of the stuff that I got for you, right? That's what I do. That's what I do. I've always been known for that. I'm going to continue being known for that. So, last night, Kwanzaa was incredible. Once again, where is my Kwanzaa schedule? My Kwanzaa schedule is here somewhere. But we got a couple of things I want to share with you that I got at Kwanzaa. Oh, man, I left my bracelet upstairs. Ricky. Can you go? Can you look on the dresser and give me my my um, bracelet? I want to show my bracelet off. <clears throat> my cheat seats are not ready. I don't know what's going on, family. Look like I'm about to go get it myself. You know. So hold on. I don't care about your shoes. Uh, I won't take. All right. All right. All right, family. I'm still on. I'm just trying to get my stuff together. My cheat sheet has mysteriously disappeared, which means my daughters have been imitating me. Your what? My daughters have been imitating me what, what and, and took my cheat sheet. Ugh. I don't need it. I mean, I do need it, but I don't need it, need it, you know? Um, so, hold on. I got one cheat sheet, but my other cheat sheet is not around. Oh, there you go. Yep, there I got my schedule too. We on. All right, so today's Kwanzaa. Today is near. Today we will be, it's an African dance party hosted by Donnell Hughes, events and entertainment. It's an African dance class at 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Um, it cost us $10. African dance party from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Okay, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Kicking it all night. It's at the Double Tree Hotel, Columbus, in Worthington. All right? So, um, you know, hope to see your face in the place. I'll probably be there for the African dance party. I have, I have to decide. But then on tomorrow, on the Money for Us, but Kaumba for um, Kwanzaa, we will have everything at the Millennium Community School. We will have divine conversations from 10 to 12 that's going to be um, um, that that talk is going to be led by Brother Kwame, and he's going to show the connection um, between math and our history. Um, he called it Mayak Comedics. Um, Shouts out to Miss Lo. Thank you for stopping in. Um, we will have a caramu from 12 to 2 p.m. Caramu means that the family is going to feed the family, so family bring some food i will bring some more ambrosia you know what i'm saying so that we can sip and talk um we're gonna have this kwanzaa time celebration um uh, it's gonna be a drum and dance celebration so from 2 p.m to 5 p.m so it's gonna be some dancing going on introduce the young young people to some african dance introduce some of the old people to african dance because remember movement is one of the four things that you need to keep going in order to stay healthy Family, we're not breathing right. We're not drinking the proper amounts of water. We're, and in some cases, we're not drinking the right water. And we're not eating culturally appropriate food. We are not also, I want y'all to stress this, we are not getting enough movement. So we got to start moving, family. Um, so um, we're going to have Drum and Dance for Children by Queen Fatima. Um, we're going to have the Father and Son Connection by with Darren, Darren and Richard Lundy. And last but not least, the in, the Nguza Saba message will be by a brother by the name of Yarima Karama family. If you have not heard this brother, you need to come out and hear him. You bring some of the young people because he will entice them. 
he was one of the only speakers that I was able to bring bet before my kids at the school from 4th to 8th grade and left them with their mouth wide open. First off, he kicked off with a freestyle that was just ridiculous. The kids couldn't even, the kids couldn't even believe that somebody his age was able to kick a freestyle in the way that he did. Then he started making sense. You know what I'm saying? So, my fault. He was making sense through the freestyle. Then he connected his whole speech to what he was talking about in his freestyle. You know, family, you, you listen, we are talented people. So, today, all the stuff will be at the Double Tree. Tomorrow, everything will be at the Millennial Community School. Shouts out to Brother Kwame. I see you out there. Um, Brother Kwame will be speaking about Mayak Comedics, and he's going to show the uh, connection of, to, uh, of African history of mathematics, and he's going to discuss how we use mathematics to, to develop our thinking skills, all right? So family, be sure to be in the place, right? Because we're going to turn it out. And then on top of that, we're going to eat as a family. So we're going to be together all day on the 31st, right? So those of you that tune in to me, you already know what the day is, right? The day is for us, the day for us is Kuumba, but for Kwanzaa is Nia. So we're going to talk about a little bit, we're going to talk a little bit about Nia, but first, let me get, let, let's make sure the ancestors get fed this morning. Make sure you're drinking your water, family. Get your water out, and don't do it in a plastic cup. Get a ceramic mug or, or get a glass, you know what I'm saying? Come on, family. We ground, we ground, we do, we do the daily toast in a grown fashion. Kids can participate. Ah, Nia Habarigani. That's right. Uh. Mm. Get the water. Get the water. Man. All right. So, I got a little ambrosia left because uh, my part of the uh, care move was ambrosia. I'm going to take some more tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I have enough left to, to sell later on, but if not, hell, we have it for the toast, and I'm going to brew some more soon, so, mm, mm, mm. all right, so, all right, let me show you some of the stuff you get at Kwanzaa, so there was one vendor, and she was doing um, stones and other stuff. So, y'all can see, there's a nice little bracelet that I picked up at Kwanzaa, right? Um, um, we had plenty of great vendors there. Some of them making jewelry right on the spot. Others could make jewelry for you. I mean, uh, it, was, it was marvelous. Did you take the ambrosia with the crushed black seeds? That's the shit. Oh, no, 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 brother. Brother, brother, now slow down. The ambrosia with the crushed black seeds is for special order. You know what I'm saying? And those special individuals who had the insight to say, hey, let me try that. All right? So, you know, but we're going to toast with a little bit of black seed. I ain't got the ginseng, but I got the black seed. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to toast with that. Um, so, um, there was uh, Miss Tiff shut, uh, set up last night. Beautiful, I mean, beautiful stuff out there. Um, Brother Alu uh, Alumala came through. So, for those that don't know, I am a great Amos Wilson fan, right? You know what I'm saying? I, Amos Wilson, you know, I can sit down and watch his um, YouTube videos for a long time. But, um, I've been waiting for a book from Brother Alumala. You know what I'm saying? The Blueprint for Black Power. And guess who came through for Brother Hot Tim last night? Look at that. Look out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. You know. And uh, this is a book I highly suggest. This is a Blueprint for Black Power. A moral, political, and economic imperative for the 21st century. By Amos N. Wilson. Author of Issues of Manhood in black and white. And guess what else I got? 
I got issues for manhood in black and white. An incisive look into the masculinity and the societal definition of African manhood. They don't call him Zawadi Books for nothing, man. Hey, so let's look what this what this book is about. Let me just read it back to you. African life into the coming millennia is imper is is imperiled by white and Asian power. True power must nest in the ownership of the real estate, what um, wherever African people dwell. Economic destiny determines biological destiny. Blueprint for Black Power details a master plan for the power revolution necessary for black survival in the 21st century. White treatment of African Americans, despite a myriad of theories explaining white behavior, ultimately rests on the fact that they can. They possess the power to do so. Such a power differential must be neutralized if blacks are to prosper in the 21st century. African Americans earn a take-home salary of near, f near five hundred billion yearly. Now, this was old when he wrote this. Not to mention the trillions they generate. Yet they retain only five percent of this income. Viewed as a nation, the economy will be the eighth or ninth largest in the world. African Americans possess enormous potential to amass effectual social political and economic power and thus control their destiny and secure their liberation. Professor Wilson argues that that we're the African American community to see itself were the African American community to see itself as indeed as a de facto nation, then the scourges of poverty, disemployment, crime, miseducation, wanton consumerism, alienated and deficit spending Misleadership and powerlessness will be drastically reduced if not eliminated. Blueprint points that an African American Caribbean Pan African bloc will be most potent for the generation and delivery of black power in the United States and the world to to um, counter white or to counter white and Asian power networks. Wilson frames this imperative by deconstructing the U.S. elite power structure of government, political parties, think tanks, corporations, foundations, media, lobbyists, interest groups, banking, and foreign investment particulars. Potentially strong black instruct institutions as the church, media, and think tanks industry, collectives such as investment clubs and credit unions, Rotating credit associations such as African ori uh, originated Asusus, Tontons, and partners are analyzed Pan Africanism, Black nationalism, ethnocentrism, and reparations are assessed. Often misused and underused financial institutions as securities, mutual funds, stocks, underwriting, and incubators advocated, thus el el ooh, elucidating off negated opportunities for economic empowerment. Blueprint dele ooh, delegates white power and roundly critiques the black psychophantic uh, Burgoyce religious and political leadership establishments for their historic moralizing of black social economic conditions and pro programmatic ineptitude. Wilson warns the cons the consequences of black obsolescence op 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 is biological annihilation. Aptly titled Blueprint for Black Power um, stops not at critique but prescribes radical practical theories, framework, and approaches for true power. It gives a biting look into black potentiality. This 900 page treatise is a journey into the protracted. Damn. Damn. You know I had this before. Somebody stole it. But they ain't gonna get this one. Alright family. So now, let's look at this one. Issues of manhood in black and white. An incisive look into masculinity and the societal definition of African man. By Amos N. Wilson. 
Let's get ready for some of these words. I need my glasses. I left it in the car. The need to examine issues of manhood in its complexity is mandatory. The mere mention of manhood conjures up the uh, conjures up debate, often hostile, polarized. Manhood in definition seems ever changing, under challenging and charge. In view of behavior often confusing, violent, sometimes immature, and invariably nonproductive, frequently to the detriment of the black community, manhood stokes discussion and search for alternative, even status quo overthrow. The age-old issue of what is a man, be a man, man as leader, provider, and producer is encased in a political, economic, social, and geopolitical framework largely in the manufacture and control of dominating powers, oftentimes white, raceless, ruthless American, where ambition and opportunities to succeed are curtailed. Few educations, few Education poor or inappropriate history and psycho history deem irrelevant violence and aggression without respite. Where city, state, and national government regimes care little to alleviate these conditions except line the coffers of wealthy friends and class allies as entitlement. Wilson talks, my fault, Wilson takes this issue by the scrub in his accustomed way rendering a searing, absolutely brilliant treatise for any historical time, although delivered over 25 years ago in view of right-wing racists assent to government office nationwide, his accuracy seems spot-on prophetic. This text, we partner with Understanding Black Adolescent Male Violence, where Wilson again shows in detail how American society creates and sustains black adolescent criminality in its inner cities across the United States. He boldly asserts that black-on-black -black adolescent violence is rooted in historical and contemporary white-on-black violence. Wilson advances a continental African paradigm worthy of, the st worthy of discussion and applicability to diaspora males one that the dovetails with female understanding of black males. Her mate selection, child rearing, and steadfast in forging family and community vital to tribe and nation. Wilson surely meets the marks with plenty of overshot. This dynamo wants a second look in the context of challenging times, simply magnificent and his message and prescription. Man, listen, family. I'm gonna devour these books. You know what I'm saying? Look, I mean, when you go when you go to the black events, because you know I hear people to complain about vendors, but we need vendors, right? Vendors keep keep the ujama flowing, right? Especially when we have free events. If not for the vendors, there would be no free events. If not for the vendors, you know what I'm saying? Where would I get this? You know what I'm saying? Bookstores are almost obsolete. Bookstores almost obsolete i could order i could have ordered this through amazon i could have ordered this through amazon but i wanted to make sure that some of the money passed and actually this right here goes is a straight line because Illumila has a direct connection with the publisher and possibly the printer because um amos wilson put some stuff in line in place before he left right and i'm hoping that the, the press is still going so Obvious, I mean, I may have been in a straight line and been able to put money in several black folks' pockets by just purchasing these books, right? Man, so we talked about Quans a little bit. Let me see if there's anything going on in the morning for the kids. Nope, it's just the dance. Well, I mean, African dance class, 11 a.m. to 1230 p.m. at the Double Tree Hotel, and that's the cost of that is $10, all right? I don't know who's doing the drum. I don't know who's doing the dance class. So if anybody out there know who's doing the drum class, please let me know. Shouts out to Miss Navita Nelson. Um, oh man, you should have seen this ring she got. You know what I'm saying? She got this. Uh, it's like a a chakra ring set that she got. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. So let's go and do this toast. And like I said, we are gonna have open discussion. 
So if anybody got anything out there they want to talk about, by all means, let's do it. By all means, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to do this toast. We're going to celebrate our personal ancestors, the creator, and whatever else comes up during the toast. Right? So let's go and keep it moving. Shouts out to Miss Herb Jallo. Thank you for stopping in. You know what I'm saying? Stopping in the Giami journey. Um, all right. Um, I'm gonna have to. Call, I'm gonna have to bring her on and interview her. So, Herb, if you want to, if you want to share, you want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to call in, unless you're under a contract, contractual obligation that you can't hook up with your brother. You know what I'm saying? I could dig it. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, there you go. All right, cool. Let's post that up. Let's lock that in. So now, you got several ways you can come on, family. You can you can hit me on the other line, on um on YouTube, right? Or where is it at? Okay, here we go with this foolishness, right? This foolishness here. I'm I'm trying, family. I'm trying. I'm trying. My computer moving slow. I don't know what's. Well, I do know what's going on. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, right? So. You call in straight through Uber Conference and get on. Um, the number's up there, 614-556-4535. Or you can hit me up um, um, through your computer by clicking the link. And, you I mean, I might be able to see you on there. You know what I'm saying? Who has access to Sister Freedom for Spoken Word? Um, well, you just put it up there. Somebody online going to get it. You know what I'm saying? What you trying to get her for tomorrow? What's going on? All right. So here we go, family. Let me get the ancestor list. Oh, before we begin to that, let's talk about this. All right, today for us, <clears throat> we know it's Kaumba. For those that don't speak the language, um, it's creativity. Um, the the meiotic principle is order. The color is orange. Um, the hermetic law is cause and effect. Male name that's born on this day is Kwame female name is Ama now I'm looking for my paperwork so that we could talk about these day names on the day of all next week all right so please keep me on that help help remind me shouts out to Miss Stephanie Jackson good to see you good to see you great um Abari Ghani for Malcolm X celebration oh I uh, see see listen we already on to the next celebration family you know what I'm saying boom we see because this is how one of the things that I used to run into in organizing was that you were organized, you have meetings, and because you didn't have um, like goals, would just be meeting for meeting's sake, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes even study group, <clears throat> you need to have goals to keep people busy so that you can keep the fuckery down, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know, we have. You one of the major resources that we have not figured out how to use yet is the fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Because there seems to be an abundance. You know what I'm saying? So what we have to do, we have to figure out. You know what I'm saying? How to blockchain that fuckery so that we can start building it towards something. But until then, we got to keep busy with activities and actually planning shit with a with a goal like Kwanzaa, like the Malcolm X celebration and stuff like that. So that we can guide, you know, so we can keep people busy until we come up with a blockchain method to figure out how to guide the fuckery to where we need it to go. Because this fuckery is just ridiculous sometimes. All right. So if you was born on the day as a male, the name is Kwame. Female is Ama. But far as Kwanzaa, today is Nia. Nia is purpose, right? Doing things on purpose. Family. It's time for us to get get out the accidental life club. You need to start finding your purpose and start living on purpose. Stop living on accident. A lot of y'all are falling down in life because you're living on accident. You're an accident waiting to happen. Start focusing your life and living life on purpose. Start building a community on purpose. You know what I'm saying? This is something that we have to start doing. You know what I'm saying? Because if we do not, you know what I'm saying, there's a great possibility that we will not make it through the 21st century because these people are not playing with us. We have to understand 
we the only ones we the only ones that's talking about play or play on. You know what I'm saying? Play, play, play. Nah, these motherfuckers are serious with this game, right? And we got to get serious with it, right? We had years of practice. Now it's time for us to start building ourselves on purpose, building our collectives on purpose, and giving them purpose so that we could be guided. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of one of the things that keeps fuckery down is people that are on purpose. You know what I'm saying? You accidentally run into fuckery most of the time. And because we are accidents, because we are not building on purpose, we run into fuckery, right? <clears throat> For those that don't know what fuckery is, is, is mischief, mayhem. Um, uh, sis, Sister Christine, Miss CeeLo says, I am looking for a calendar that has the days of the week as you name them. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to try to hook up with Brother Renee, but I won't be able to... I see if I have any extra copies around, or I can email it to you. You know what I'm saying? I have to update it, right? Because this one I'm using is all the way from August, and I got some updated ones on, wait a minute, you signed up for the um, Ingusa Cyber Challenge. A calendar should come out. It's old, but a calendar should come out. <clears throat> so, um, so, um, but for purpose... The myotic principle that, that lines up with that on this day of the week is balance. The color is yellow. The hermetic law is rhythm. Male name is Kofi. Female name is Afua. Right? So, of course, when we start working on purpose, we start finding the balance. We start finding the balance. Right? Because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? You, if you find somebody off purpose, usually what you find is somebody that's totally off balance. No, don't do the download again because it should you it should it's coming to you. It won't come up to you all at once. It come to you in pieces. So check your email because I don't want you going back in. You don't have to sign up more than once because it it is staggered. I had the delivery staggered. All right, um, and I'm gonna have to go in and update that. Now, for those that's looking for emotional emancipation circles or looking for healing, right? African Center Cultural Virtues and Value System. Uh, for the day, in Wolof, the character or the, the virtue is Job, or Job, good character, just, honest, righteous. In Akan, is strong character. In traditional Yoruba, the virtue of the day is Oju Enu, insight, insight, all right? So, let's keep it moving. So, we lift up our glass, family. We lift the glasses. We toast. Our personal answer. My fault. We toast the creator by whatever name you choose. Call it creator. We lift the glass up and we salute that energy. Right? We toast that creator. Right? So we move from there. We move on to our personal ancestors. Right? By the way, for those of you that was at the libations last night, I cut it short. You know what I'm saying? Because I can run through all of it. Yeah, I know how to do the whole libation. But I choose to do this one like this because... I feel that we neglect our personal ancestors. I honestly do. You know what I'm saying? So every time I make it to that point in libations, I'm trying to hype it up because I want I, I want our ancestors out there to know that we love them. We still love them. We, we, we understand that they are still connected to us, right? So I want to make sure that our ancestors feel our love, right? So we lift up our glass to our personal ancestors and we toast them and we... We we ask, um, we ask them for their assistance in the journey that we are on. So we lift up our glass and we toast the likes of Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avira Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Falar, Montague Pittmanel, No More X. Um, <sighs> Brian Watson Jr. and Kaneko Parsons. I'm going to update this sheet. Uh, so give me a time. Um, no More X, Sepet Ma Ra, Ma Ra, Malika Fakure, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon. 
Tony Clark, Pastor Yusef Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro Actor Jr., Jay Atwood, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, the Luxter Brothers, Mrs. Edith Brooks. Hey, bye. Shouts out to Miss Sasha Moss. Come on over so they can see you. Looking all rough early in the morning. They can't see you on Facebook, right? All right. Um, uh, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, jo um, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman. Can you go in there and open that uh, microwave so it can stop beeping? Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Lobita Farmer, Agoso Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Mary B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther, Keechler Reese, Linda Watson, Hammers, Jarrell Giles, um, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bolden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Gray, Gross, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Les Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Imotep Wellman, Elder Imotep Wellman, Elder Imotep Wellman. Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, um, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank Russell Davis, Fred Douglas, Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Mark, I mean Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, and Ellis Murphy. Woo! We lift up our glass and we toast those ancestors, those personal ancestors that's rolling off my tongue with individuals that have impacted the, the listeners and the watchers of Giami Journey. So we lift up and we ask for their blessings, we ask for their guidance, we ask for their wisdom, and we also send our energy, we send our ashe out to them so that our ancestors never, never have to worry about the proverb that says, hell for African is being forgotten because we will never forget all. And family, this list is going to continue to grow, and we're going to pass it on to the generations that come after us so that they can continue reading them. Because one day, they will be reading our names, and hopefully we will be honored honored ancestors. Hopefully we will have built them a legacy that they can stand on, um, um, stand on forever. All right, so we lift up our glass, and we say, I say from there. We move on to the present moment. We salute this moment. And this moment is our power. So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to the future generations. Go on, wave at them, Sasha. This is one of them. Wave at them, Sasha Mosh. Oh, okay. She mad. She, she's still asleep. All right. So we lift up our glass and we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Right? Because that's how it goes down around here. Because we're not planning for just tomorrow. 
we're planning for eternity. We don't build for just tomorrow. We build for eternity. You know what I'm saying? As my ancestors said to me in one of my visions, where are our monuments? Family, family, we got work to do. So we lift up the glass and we toast our future, our, um, our children, our children's children on to infinity. Last but not least, well, this ain't even last, but we toast to all of our relations, all of our relations. Uh, going to that on another thing last, but not least, I toast you for taking the time and rising with me and, and toasting with me. You know what I'm saying? Drinking your health drink with me. Now, the rules of the toast is that you got to drink the water and you got to have a health drink. So you got green tea. You got that ambrosia. You got another type of kombucha. You got some um, a, a smoothie. You know what I'm saying? You got some type of health drink because we can't toast our ancestors. If we're not taking care of ourselves, right? We can't toast the ancestors if we're not taking care of ourselves. So lift up your glass. And we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish you peace, power, and joy and 100 years. All right. So, family, like I said, some hanging from a tree. Oh, man. That's right, she's talking about the ancestors. These are those who die for us, some hanging from a tree. And some of us are old enough to have known of ancestors that was hung from trees, family. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand, nobody's playing with us. You know what I'm saying? We are under, we are, we have to learn how to protect ourselves. We have to learn how to do for ourselves. It's cool to work with others. But we always need to make sure we got a foundation so that when others start tripping, we got a place to go. All of y'all know how good it feels when you go over that certain person's house and they start tripping. And you always can go back to your crib, right? Because it's your crib. Dude, that's your property. Boom. It's always good to have your own. You know what I'm saying? Somebody start tripping when you ride with them to a party. You're riding with them to the mall. Or you're riding with them wherever you're going. It's always good when they start tripping. You get out your car and say, listen, I, maybe, I, maybe I'll meet you up there. It's always good to have your own. We do that as individuals. We got to do it. We got to do it as, as a people now. You know what I'm saying? We got to have our own. So when they start tripping, you know what I'm saying? When, when the great pumpkin say some shit out of his mouth, you know what I'm saying? You know, we can go back to our own. You know what I'm saying? We can do our own thing. Um, Shouts out to Jenny Jackson. And Miss Miss Cielo says, not white Jesus. <laughs> so we lift up our glasses, family, and we toast. So like I said, the conversation is on. Y'all can hit me up on the face, Facebook timeline about something y'all want to discuss. Y'all can hit me up on um, the Spreaker app. I can see you. I got my chats open. So if you wanted to see, I'm going to send out an invite so people on Facebook can get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's up with that. All right. But, you know, you going to hit me up. Well, actually, I don't have to do that. I could just post something up. Um, I already posted that up. So you can hit me up on that app. I could just write something. I just put up, hey. Hey. Only reason my daughter's sitting here because she thinks she's going to get this tablet after I'm done. <laughs> got a, I got a trick for her. All right. So, all right. So you can hit me up on that, or you can just come over to the Uber conference and we could we could chat it up, family. It's your time. Let's talk about the principles of Kwanzaa. Let's talk about the Kwanzaa celebrations. Let's talk about how we had the largest Kwanzaa celebration, probably in the country, family. You know what I'm saying? I, and, you know, we had comedians come out. We had magicians come out. We had African dancers. We had. Um, a modern dancers. Um, we uh, we we had a good time. We had a a marvelous caribou yesterday. You know what I'm saying? We provided ourselves with fish and chicken. You know what I'm saying? We had the, we had the vegetarian meals. We had some great vendors. We had um um great food vendors for the last four nights. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna close this thing down properly. And this the, the pe pe please understand that when we talk about Doing this holiday, we do this as a cultural stabilizer. This, this, because Kwanzaa could do one of two things. Kwanzaa could bring people into the fold or push them out, right? And what we want to do is we want to have 
opportunities for people to come together and run into family because we're family, right? I'm looking at some of these names on here, right? And I'm looking at some of these names and I'm wondering how many, you know what I'm saying? How many degrees am I separated from some of these people on this list just here in Columbus? Like I said, I, I'm, I'm um, in pouring libations and listening to one of my brothers speak the other day that I've known, we, I known him since I was 18 years old. When I first came here, I met the brothers, right? Beautiful brothers. And they said that their mother's last name was Brown. And speaking of that, um, toast to uh, Miss Penny Brown, um, Miss Penny Willoughby. You know what I'm saying? But her maiden name is Brown. I'm like, Brown? Family, we might be cousins. We might be cousins. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not just because we already call each other brothers. And for those that don't know, cousins are really just brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, it's there. It's, what's up, Mr. Riggins? How are you doing this morning? All right? So, yo, I'm going to hold the lines open for a little while longer. Join in. Call in. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about the book I got because I got plenty of his material. For those that don't know about him, Amos Wilson, family, listen, powerful writer, powerful speaker, all over YouTube. Make sure you get into his information on this time off. Right, because he talks about education, he talks about economics, he talks about um, the socialization process, he talks about psychology. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I mean, this dude was speaking in the um, 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, and it's like everything that he's talking about is coming to pass right now. That's what you call prophecy, right? So make sure that y'all get um, staying in tune, right? And and also. Understand this, family. We're building the village here, right? We've been building. It's been building for a while, right? But, you know, we're going to really start building now, right? I mean, well, let me put it this way. They've really been building, but now I'm on, now I'm on board, right? So in Columbus, we're about to do some things. So I need, we're going to need for family to start coming out. So be look, on the lookout for events by Tawi Village. Of course, you know, Giami Tribe is in the house now, right? So we build it. Be on the lookout for um, 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 a warrior training, all right? Be on the lookout because we, you know what I'm saying, I, everything is coming in 2018. We're going to hit it hard. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to wear myself out. I'm going to be able to come home and do the sleep, the real sleep, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I've done any everything and laid the foundation for my children, right? Lay the foundation for my children. So not only when they go to school, you should shake your head no for it. Yeah, yeah, you trying to be funny, right? You know, so um, I need to let y'all know that you are now listening to Giami Journey. Anime. Mm -hmm. Whew, God, man, these animals are hard to work with. You are now listening. Can I finish saying it, girl, please? I got a pet phoenix for those that don't know. Anime. Wait for the cue. You are now listening to Giami Journey. Of course, you know, this is Daily Toast is the Heart of December production. When we strive to blow up your old paradigms. Can't do it no better than that, family. Can't do it no better than that. So let's blow up some old paradigms. Throw up some topics. Throw up some stuff you want to hit on. I've been studying for years. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the open questions, the open comments. Let's get it flowing. Let's get the conversation flowing, family. Like and share if you want. Bring some friends on. Let's kick it because we got time. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't know. I mean, it's snowing outside. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go in Columbus. <sighs> well, my fault. You guys want to go at about 1130. But other than that, we got it. Come on now. Let's go. on. Let's talk. Quan, um, um, Miss Celo say Kwanzaa was dope. It was, it was, yeah. Hey, listen, it's addictive. I wish I could do it all the time, but you know, if you do it all the time, it become boring. So I can't wait to see what what we gonna pull out next year because Sister Jill laid it out this year. I don't even know how we gonna compete. But one of the things we got to talk about is how do we get our young people because the little kids we keep them busy, but how do we get the young warriors involved? between the ages of 13 
to about 25 or 30. Let's go like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm old enough to say it. somebody 30 is young. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get mad at me, but I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I was shit. I was driving and fighting in the streets. So I'm old enough to say that that 30 is young. So how do we get the 13 year, 13 year old up to the 30s involved? You know what I'm saying? Any thoughts on that? You know what I'm saying? Because we need to really get them involved with the culture. And I ain't just talking about putting on African print. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about getting involved and really, really expressing the culture. Um, Brother Kwame said, why did I read this morning that the oldest writing in the world is not in Africa, but in, I think, um, Iraq? Well, you know that argument been going on for a long time, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because... They are trying to say that the Sumerian and Babylonian text is older. As as a matter of fact, there are many um, many schools of thought that says that Babylonia, and especially Babylon, and um, Sumeria are much older than Egypt. You know what I'm saying? And now, this goes back to the writings in the 70s, 60s, and 70s of Jeremiah Stitching. You know what I'm saying? Where they start talking about the aliens and shit like that. So, you know, you know, let you know, like I said, family, you know, some stuff we don't even need that we don't even need to argue about, right? You know what I'm saying? We don't even need to argue about it because who was the Sumerians and the Babylonians? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because their their situation is very similar to Egypt because they got um they had two major rivers. At least, well, at least one or two major rivers around which they built. You know what I'm saying? And then also, you got to remember the popularity of Babylon because they could. They, it's easier for them to trace the origins of Babylon to themselves. So you can't. We. I don't. I don't get mad about it because I understand the hustle, family. Family first, right? I need to make sure my children know that Africa is the cradle of civilization. All these other places were not cradles, they were just uh, sleeping boxes for babies. We had cradles in Africa. The rest of these places that they're finding are just resting boxes. They're not even cradles. They're just flat ground laid that the baby of civilization laid on. But the cradle is where she came up in, right? Show them the young brothers and sisters how to make money. Use See, not only making money, see, because a lot of our kids, we think they're about money, but when you see what they're doing, they're not really about money. You look at them, they, they're tracing Facebook, you know what I'm saying? They, their faces in the phones, they're playing games. So a lot of the young people are not really interested in even, I mean, they're interested in getting money, but they're not really interested in making money. That's my assumption. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be looking at some of them. Like, you know, I get Cleve opportunities to say, Cleve, yo, man, you can make some money if you learn this programming, but I got to make them do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, and, and and so I'm sitting up there. The Sumerians were called the blackheads, and I don't get mad about it either. Just tickles me that these old arguments, that they never die and they never will because, let me say this, I would, I expect no less from my adversary. None. We should expect no less. You know what I'm saying? And every time they bring up the argument, see, because one of the things that we need to start doing is is like in a sense getting us some young scholars that are really interested in doing that type of research and not just sending them to the libraries but sending them over to our lands where they go to Kemen they go all throughout Africa and find this stuff and do their own digs so that we could go on and be like we found this and we dated this back to uh, 50,000 years next you know what I'm saying? So then they'll go and find something. And, see, because, you know, competition is healthy. Competition is healthy. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things I learned when I was young was that oftentimes your competition is going to big up himself a lot more than he really is. This, 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 is, this, is, this is street shit. You know what I'm saying? It's no different. I'm going to big up myself. A lot, I, you know, I'll knock you out one punch, blah, blah, blah. You listen to some of these dudes, man. And it took me a long time coming up in my youth to realize that a lot of these individuals are just talking shit. They couldn't bust them, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's the same thing in the history game. It's the same thing in the economics game. It's the same thing in the war game. 
You know what I'm saying? We have to understand, right? That motherfuckers are always going to big up their shit. You know, like we run around using the term white supremacy. I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's almost as if you're admitting. You know what I'm saying? It's like a nigga with a name Big Daddy. You know what I'm saying? As a man, are you going to turn around and call that nigga Big Daddy? Nigga, I, nigga, Tyrone or whatever the fuck your name is, I'm not calling you Big Daddy. So why am I going to be running around calling another system supremacy? Right? Nigga, no, you ain't supreme. You a white group. You white nationalist, motherfucker. I ain't, I'm, I'm not going in on that. Yep, and Tony Browder and Renoka Rashid told, matter of fact, Tony Browder recently um, sponsored, in some form or fashion, sponsored a dig in Egypt. And I think, I think his daughter was involved with it. But it's that type of work that we need to be doing. So we don't have to really even be worried about some of the stuff that they publish. See, because they done cut us off in the media. So that's for them. We got our own media. And it would be so nice that if on a show like Giami Journey or some of these other shows, we were able to throw up new information to solidify who we are. You understand what I'm saying? Powerful piece. You know, Renoka Rashid is still traveling throughout Asia looking for the African connection. You understand what I'm saying? Doing doing masterful research, bringing back the new information. Tony Broder is in Egypt doing doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But we need more teams because they're competing against the Harvards. They're competing against the Yales. They're competing against all these other large institutions. And we got to understand, man, that these colleges, these institutions of learning are tools of domination. They're tools of that you that that are used to solidify white power to solidify the white placement in history we got to understand that's the primary goal you know what i'm saying and and until we understand that and start developing our own institutions because a lot of people i mean it don't take a lot cuz if i'm correct um ohio state started with a couple of barns you you understand what i'm saying it don't, it don't take a lot. We got all these buildings, right? We got all these places where we meeting. One of the things that I want to bring to the collective is, you know, like, for example, why can't an individual not only del deliver a Sabe act, but why can an individual deliver some type of manuscript on their specialty, a dissertation, so to speak, in some form or fashion? where we're leaving information about our tribe, about our collective. You know what I'm saying? And as it grows, it becomes um, more citywide, more statewide, more more national, because we got authors here. See, and everybody that writes is not an author, because in order for you to get a PhD, family, I want you all to think about this. You have to write a dissertation. What, what is a dissertation? It's a piece of work that you write, that discusses your area of expertise that you give to the school so that they can add it to their archives. As an African-centered community, we need to start doing the same thing. Yeah, now, so, Brother Hatim, I can't write. Well, then, cool, maybe that's one of the fears that you might need to overcome. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak in public. Maybe that's one of the fears that is called initiation. It's not supposed to be easy. A dissertation is initiation. Getting out speaking in front of people is initiation. Getting out into the woods and doing some of the shit that we do is an initiation. Right? So my piece is, now, if we want young people to come to Kwanzaa, they have to be guided. Now, because this, this is my take, right? See, not just the money making, but we have to kind of push young men and young women in the direction that we want them to go. So this is why, because one of the things that I was that 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 um, through what I was doing, what I found out was that young people would never come to Kwanzaa if I didn't make them come. I used to, you know, say so when I was doing the house, I would make kids go to, to to certain things, right? They didn't like it at first, but then once they got in there, see, because not only would I make them come, you know, what I'm saying. I would make they make them take their ass inside and sit down because what will happen is they'll come with you to satisfy you, but then they will just sit on the fringes. If they were mine, if they was trying to get rank in, in, in my family, if they was trying to get recognized in my family, you're going to bring your ass in here and sit down. 
or you're going to be on point. See, there's a whole other piece that we ain't, I mean, our, we young people want to develop stuff. PhD is to define a problem, research the problem, and then provide your answer via a dissertation, which is basically initiation, is it not? That's all it is. It's nothing but initiation, family. That's all it is. Fancy words for initiation. Find a problem, research the problem, and then provide your answer for the problem. Initiation. You understand what I'm saying? Without some of the physical stuff. But, you know, we can provide the physical stuff for those that are able to do it. You know what I'm saying? And for some of those that are not able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because we need dissertations on health. We need dissertations. We need people looking at problems and solving problems in our community. See, and this is what we this is where we are as far as today. Purpose. As far as Kwanzaa, today is purpose. Once people start finding their purpose, right? They find a problem, they research the problem, and they provide the answer to the problem. And what community got more problems than ours? At this point in time, family, I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Come on now, I'm waiting. There got to be somebody out there with more problems than us. It's got to be. Y'all can't tell me we the only ones with problems. There got to be more people out there with problems than us. Maybe not. So if we got all these problems. We got a wealth of resources. See, yesterday was um um U- Ujama. Cooperative economics. Economics is 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 the science of controlling and monitoring resources, right? Now, what is a problem? A problem is an opportunity, which is basically a resource. It could become a hindrance or it could become a resource. If we could solve problems in our community, what community won't they work in around the world? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we sitting on wealth. We got problems. You know what I'm saying? That if we come up with solutions, family, we're going to save the world. And we're going to get rich. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just about wealth with me, but the hope, the hope. You know what I'm saying? But I do need money to make shit happen. Right? So, hey, you know, um, I see nobody going to call in. So, uh, I am going to end this uh, podcast. I want to thank everybody that took the time. To, to tune in. Um, I want to thank those viewers on YouTube. I want to thank those viewers on Facebook. I want to thank those listeners on Spreaker. Understand that the, the, the journey comes to you every day. Every day. In these three ways. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep it going for as long as I possibly can. So um, I need to remind you are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. God damn it, anime. I was about to get her. You're now listening to Giami Journey. God, I mean, I, I mean, I'm trying to take care and feed. I mean, I feed these animals and stuff, and they can't even give me. Um, of course, you know this is Daily Toast. This discussion part, waiting for you to call in. The Heart of a Simba production. <laughs> well, we strive, strive, strive. To blow up your old paradigm. All right, family. Unless there's some more to talk about, I'm about to get up. Say peace, Sash.